No, I'm gonna learn them no matter what the play style is. Yeah, and that's fair. For myself, I got lucky. Not only am I a big fan <laughs> You of got the play and... style and the character. You yeah, he's a projectile character. Projectile trap character. Yeah. The, Yo, the spiciest the, of Hangman. The new age freestyle trap character? Oh, God. No! <laughs> Zim is my favorite fighting game character. <laughs> Alright. And we're starting on Jellyfish Shields. Alright. This bumps a go, and here we are. Alright, so Aang on the quicker side of things from what we've seen Mr. E fight against thus far in the tournament. So. Definitely. Although, if Eagle is not able to slow down E's approach with Gur, then he's going to have a lot of trouble with maintaining that uh, stage presence. I get the up throw into the Nairs. Yeah, given how light Zim is, he doesn't have to really worry about those Nair loops too heavily. All right, going to get the light down air confirmed. Not going to, just going to get damage off of it. Not getting a strong off of it. It's that big damage that Aang is known for. Like I'm saying, Rob is big and can't kill. <laughs> I Aang's strongest kill move is the neutral special, not in the avatar state, and it's a call out button. Mm, it's a good button. Yeah. Ooh, he tried to go for the light. Oh, he might die. Oh, he didn't die uh, for it. He had the right idea, just unfortunately didn't put the hitbox out in the right place at the right time. But good awareness there from Eagled in order though to track Mr. E off stage like that. Right, oh, come down. oh, didn't get the second there, but the pressure's there. You wanted the double dunk. Gotta commit to it though. Ooh. Oh, does it get the up strong follow up? Gotta go for it again. Is him able to get through? Opting to go high once again, a very aggressive recovery. But you know what? He's getting away with it, so you can't even get argue. Yeah, no, and this time Zim doesn't have buttons that could really stop him unless he's camping beneath the gnome. But look, even Gnome not able to stop the pressure. Like, you need to be able to back up. We've saw multiple times he'll do that. He'll go for the, the neutral major aerial damage. heavy and try to fast fall with it. I think the announcer said major damage, but he just got thrown. <laughs> no follow up on the throw either. Hey, look at the damage he's on board. Eagle chilling <laughs> at 175. He's in the deep red, but he's still got the 3 to 1 stock lead. Oh, I like Mr. E's idea there, setting up the gnome high. Eagle has been going high with the recoveries, but Eagle just barely threading the needle that time, but. Zim finding this. He's struggling to find the kill here. Gonna be put off stage. Oh my goodness, put it all out there. Yo, he wanted it. Who'd have got it too? Yeah. Given the damage is already on E on his last stock. Oh, all right, Mr. E able to take that stock. All right, gonna get the Nairs. Gonna be put off stage here. They're gonna put that just to get through. Good. Oh catch. my goodness. Eagle's going to take game one. All right. Fantastic play there from Eagle. As he starts moving and grooving. All right. So Eagle up a like game on Mr. E right now. So let's see if they're able to keep up this pressure. Once again, running it right back. Eagle's been doing a really good job of staying like on top of wherever E wants to move. And in spite of the ner nerfs, is still managing to find really consistent combos. Oh, he got Garyed. garried! All right, so that's the first time we've seen it, getting garried. Gotta be careful with those angles coming upwards. Yeah, the, st the stage is uh, very flat on the bottom, very easy to get caught underneath it if you don't angle correctly. And, and you get garried. Oh, wants almost be garried. My uncle's name is Gary. <laughs> Rip Gary. Oh, he's a nice guy. <laughs> oh, but Eagle able to even things up stockwise here. All right, gonna get the hit. Doesn't get anything off of the knockdown though, but immediately gets the follow up. Fantastic, just blocking the string, waiting for the opportunity to come in. Again, it's that down uh, light that we're constantly seeing from E. Right, it's just able to cover so much space on the ground. Yeah, it covers a lot like you're saying. Good poke through. It helps that Eagle keeps on landing right in front of or right behind E with the intentions of crossing him up, which I think is fine, but you're just throwing yourself into needless hitboxes. Especially right now with Gurren Gnome heavy carrying this damage and tying up this game. I also want to point out something about how, uh, the, the usage of Gurren, which is Mr. E just never stops Gur. Gurren just goes. Yeah, I was noticing that earlier and I thought it was a bit deliberate from the matchups, but at least here he's just, he just wants to march along with Gurren. Yeah. It's the pass to peace. 
as, the, as the, the, Urken the, the Urken Path. The Urken Path. Fantastic follow up on the teeter there. Three with the lead now. But a fantastic call out with the strong neutral heavy. Like, no lead is too safe while Eagle is on the screen. He's been doing a really good job of equalizing those, just by diving in and going for whatever strong he can land in the moment. And that move, like, very committal button, but when it hits, it hits. Who's gonna get the Nairs? Just gonna send off stage here. All right. Mystery just gonna use that air dash in order to get over Aang and get back to center stage, reset. Oh, we get oh. the Nair to turn around. Garen tries to get the stomp too, but to no avail. He in position to take away this game too. Oh, just dashing back to avoid that. Gonna get the dash attack, put off stage. Doesn't come to the ledge fully. Aang able to get back on. Oh my goodness. He was covering so much space with the yeah. strong there. He gonna even things up 1-1. One, one. Right. Really well played. I like how you adapted. We started to see some of those faster buttons come out from Zim to compensate for the fact that Eagle is just dancing on so top like of this boy. Yeah. Hey, All right. Checking the buttons. All right. Just a quick check. Uh, the PC version, unlike the Switch version, you do not need to, to reset in between games. It's safe so the controller even if the ports change. Yep. Uh, however, just, you can just quickly check. No problem. Game 3 going to be bringing us to Harmonic Convergence, which if Eagle can get his chains off, it's going to be a lot of damage and, more importantly, a lot of stage denial from Zim. Meanwhile, he's going to have a lot of opportunity to take backstage if he's more than ready to be marching alongside Gurr. All right. Gurr just... Yeah, he just lets Gurr go. Like, just, just send the lad out. He wants to do it. Yeah. Gurr is having a good time. Yeah. And he is happy to oblige. He's trying to get his pizza. He's got to go. That didn't turn it around. Yeah, no. The, oh, uh, I guess that was the strong guy back there. Yeah. Ooh, I like the, the cross up attempt there from Mr. Eagle that he was going to press up on out of block. Well, he's got to be very careful with those cross up attempts on Eagle because Eagle's been looking for them for quite some time as well. Staying mobile in the air, working out really well for Eagle because these percentages oh, are climbing. Fantastic call out with the gnome, knowing that Eagle was going to go high there. Oh, and even trying to drop Gur off <laughs> to intercept, but no Gur to be found. Oh, what oh, a nice. call out! The neutral Eagle. strong going to catch that jump back. Alright, but another neutral jump strong. Ega's going to even things right back up here on the second stock. Oh, he got scooped right out of his own combo. <laughs> Get him out of here. Goodbye. He's going for these neutral pokes. Just get him away. Just slowly build up the damage. Ooh. Fantastic. We've seen Eagle, Eagle try to go for that confirm multiple times tonight. And that one finally proving to be worth it. Killing E at 80%. Yeah, the light dash attack into the strong. Definitely. Definitely paying dividends there. Cool. Went for the up strong as well. Didn't get it on the combo. Now I love Mr. E2 escaping. Take center stage here. Ooh, forced to block. Gur gives E the opportunity to move in. And the on the verge of tying up these stocks. Not, does not get the call out with the down heavy. Oh, went to cover the ledge with the down strong heavy. Unforge. Both these lads kind of swing it now. He's just got to get rid of the stock and then keep control of the situation. And this is exactly what he needs. All right, let's see if Mr. E is able to set up. Oh, fantastic wait there for Mr. E. If he jumped or moved forward, it was going to be over for him. Now, Eagle's gotten away with that a couple of times now, so it made plenty of sense for him to do it. And with no punish to be found on it, it's fine and dandy. We're going to set up good. Mr. E just playing so safe right now. We're going to finally get hit by the Nair, put towards the ledge here. Just jumps over Aang. As Eagle went for a grab attempt. All right, and once again, right back at the ledge. Oh my goodness, able to land. Very, very scary to so be in the air above. Right now. Oh, that's oh the teeter. teeter. All right, and Eagle's gonna go up at the game here against Mr. E. All right, so where's game number four gonna take us is the question. It's gonna take us to the home menu. <laughs> Counter sounds so 
weird when he says that. He's like, damn! Damn! Put too much effort into it. Arc and Armada. Okay. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Alright. Ready? A lot of space that he is going to be able to control, and given how well he's been adapting to Eagle's aggressive play, I feel that coupled in with how effective Gur and the Gnome are going to be, are going to very well probably bring us to game five. Alright, just a bit of pressure there. So you're just poking away, getting the damage slowly but surely. Just chuck him. <laughs> Get him out of here. Oh, gets the Ooh. teeter. Gonna get a follow-up off of it, too. Probably too big, but it's free damage. Like every, free bit da of, every bit of damage that you can get is very important. Definitely, especially when you consider how neck and neck this set has been. Oh, All right, and you're able to draw first blood here. Looking to try to take us to a game number five. Like the tripod layout of the stage is so good. <laughs> Kurt just bounced off of him. <laughs> Did not want to be involved. <laughs> He's like, that's the Avatar. <laughs> Get me out of here. Eagle trying to keep a distance. I think really smart. That way he can wait for his proper opportunity. Ooh, got to that swing. teeter, but no follow up on it. Wasn't ready for it. That's something that like you gotta adjust to. Like in this game, is like the fact that like opponent can just block forever until you put them at the ledge of anything. So yeah, that's when you gotta get the follow ups, and that's when like putting pressure on, especially on platforms, is very important in the game. Ooh, fantastic follow-up with the strong air. It's gonna even up things stock-wise. Mr. E, though, racking up the damage slowly but surely and putting Eagle off stage here, but a get-up attack's gonna reverse the situation. Oh my goodness! Yeah, potential for really big damage there. It gets us close enough to tie. Again, worth considering that both of these characters have been on the lighter end, so they don't have to work as hard to rack up that damage. That's why the stage control is much more important. Like, like, he has been forcing this battle to the ledge, and it's been looking so good for him since he's been doing that. All right, and the fantastic call out on the landing there with the strong heavy, with the neutral strong. And that's going to lead to, once again, a bit of a lead for Mr. E. Got to maintain it and take us to game five, though, if he wants to stay in this bracket. Otherwise, Eagle will be moving on to play in loser semifinals. Like, the, the center stage denial from E has made this game four look so good. And Gnome does a big job in that. Between Gnome and Gurn, it's been really hard for Eagle to actually move forward. And it's kind of textbook play for Zim, but there's nothing wrong with that. Eagle, it's on Eagle to adapt. And the heavy callouts are good. Don't get me wrong, but he needs more than that. He was struggling to find the combo starter. Starting to get the damage going, but... All right, the big hit there, that's gonna even things up stock-wise. And this is almost an even game. Just one one of Aang's combo starters away from evening things up. Basically, yeah, but he can't afford oh, to let Mighty this Moose. opportunity slip. Mighty Moose almost coming in clutch there for Mystery, but there it is! All right, able to escape the Nairs, though. Gur, Gnome, we're striking with everything we've got. The whole This Urkin is bracket life for, uh, for yeah. Eve. Sitting at 59%, got Eagle, oh no! All right, able to escape the platform on top, coming in clutch for that. All right, and the up strong, not enough to take it. Very dangerous position for Mystery. Oh, and Eagle takes it. Wow, the clutch is real. Oh my goodness. Eagle finds the kill, and just like that, it's a 3-1 victory for Eagle. Yeah. He's gonna be out at fifth tonight. Oh my goodness. Something you do not see often is something like that. Oh my god. And then uh, Eagle will be moving on to fight Mr. Lucky then in the loser semifinals. Ooh, all right. So, yes, but I think before that we are going to get winner's finals, which is PC Damon versus Grand Tail. The right. other classic. Yeah, no, this is going to be another good one. Taking down one king of Kusoge so far, he's got to fight the other. Yes. And 